Happy Sunday. Hey, it's me. So today I'm starting the vlog a little late because I was just organizing some jeans that I need to take to a client and um but the day started out like very fun <laughs> in a very ironic way I mean okay uh this lady <laughs> came in and she uh I told her about uh how all the clothes are from Brazil and we were talking and I mentioned that I was also from Brazil she's like oh yeah this is like very European and I was like yeah Brazil and European styles, they sometimes overlap. And she was like, but Brazil is in Europe. And I was like, no, Brazil is in South America. I didn't say it like this. I said it in a much nicer way and also smiling. But she, and then she kind of started arguing with me, like Brazil was in, was in Europe. And I was like, no, it's not. And then she kind of left kind of mad at me. <laughs> and I was like, okay, great. Thanks, education system. You're great. because. <laughs> How do you not know that the biggest country in South America is not there? Like, did you like skip every map in your life? Did you not look at it? Did you skip all geography classes? Kind of baffling, but it has been. I also have already seen the same thing happen to uh, people from Europe also not knowing where Brazil is. Same thing, yeah. So it's kind of scary. I don't think it's, uh, I think, people just forget to and they they hear america and they only think about like the u.s and they forget that there is like other countries below that mexico is not the only country in central america and in south america there is countries it's not just farmland and like forest well 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 it's the end of the day but i'm doing my outfit of the day finally i had like those are the 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 pants that I'm taking to a client for her uh and I completely forgot to do my outfit of the day because like life life <laughs> so today's dress is this beautiful beautiful dress from Aguachi Rosas this one is one of the ones that just came in I forgot the name of it again but <laughs> I decided to pair it with my harness no I did not fix the straps of this one yet but let me show you what I did because today is not a super warm day, so I kind of felt like I wanted to wear a jean jacket. And I really wanted to wear this dress. I just ended up taking a, like, a ribbon and kind of like tying it over there. So now it fits perfectly. So uh, I still need to fix the straps, but I think this works for when I'm wearing a jacket. Or even if I get a, I just didn't have a black ribbon, but it, even if I get a black ribbon, I can still do that. Now, uh, the dress, I'm wearing the harness with it because I wanted something like here. And my Gucci belt is a little bit too thin for the waistband of this because I wanted to kind of hide the, the waistband of the dress. So uh, I ended up putting it with the harness, which I loved it because I think it kind of, it gives it that little edge for such a romantic and cute dress. So, And uh, for the accessories, I'm wearing uh, some gold hoops. Uh, the bigger one, I know that is from a Brazilian brand, uh, and the smaller one is from, uh, Swarovski. Uh, Ollie inspired the gate, t key to the gates of Hades necklace. And then, uh, my low top converse. And I got a present from my dad, so I'm wearing, uh, my, uh, Apple Watch and this Tory Burch, uh, bracelet that he got for me that has, like, this... Uh, croc detail, which I thought it was so cute. And I also got uh, a Tory Burch bag, too. And this one, I don't know which one this one is, and I don't know how much it was because this was a present. But yeah, I love this outfit, and I think it's so cute. And I know I'm going to get a lot, lot of wear from this bag. I think it's so cute. I'm definitely going to be using this, like, little pouch to put my headphones on <laughs> so I don't lose them. <laughs> But I thought that this like outfit the way that it is I thought it was so cute and so like just perfect for wearing it every day I think that's why I love these dresses so much because you can put on a few accessories Kind of dress them down a little bit and then like but it be 
and then you got a perfect dress to wear it every day. But if you want to wear this dress to a party, you can dress it up with different accessories, heels, a different bag, like even if you don't want to wear the belt, you can put it on with some more dainty accessories, and you got yourself a perfect dress for uh, an occasion. So that's why I think I love the romantic style so much, because you can like play around with it. It's the accessories that make the look. Now, I gotta go drop that off and I'm probably going to have some dinner because I'm tired and I'm kind of got a headache and I don't know if it's because I'm hungry or if it's my migraines again that I still go. It's not again because it never went away, so. Good morning. <laughs> Today is Monday and this is the soundtrack of my day. At least it's looking like it. <sighs> but good news, they are taking down the things from the next building over. So hopefully they're going to do, finish this one in the front of my store also super, super, super fast, which I'm going to be very happy about because uh, I'm frustrated and sad and, uh, you know, but <laughs> I just want to sleep. I don't know. I don't think I slept that well last night and today I'm just like So um there is a saying uh in Portuguese that it says Tô aqui na força do ódio and it means I'm here like by the power of hate. Like but it, it's not actually hate. It's like the power of like I'm here because I have to be, you know? <laughs> I don't know if this makes sense, but it's funny when you when you understand Portuguese. And a lot of jokes, like that's the thing about like two languages that are so different. Because a lot of the jokes that are Americans, uh, American jokes, when I explain them to Brazilians, it's kind of like, why is this funny? And a lot of the jokes that I try to explain it from Portuguese to English, it's the same thing. It's like, why is it funny? And it's like, it's funny because of the language. So if you don't speak it, it's not going to be the same. <laughs> yeah. So I sat here a little bit just so I could reach you guys away from the door because like uh, over there, it's driving me insane. And um, I'm going to keep working because I have to do other stuff too. But I'll show you my outfit very soon. Okay, so you are seeing that I'm wearing like three days in a row, I'm wearing my new dresses and I'm gonna keep doing that because I don't fully believe, unless you buy a dress specifically for a particular occasion, I don't believe in saving dresses for a particular, like for like a particular occasion, okay? I like wearing my styles. I like, I like enjoying, like clothes for me is something that I enjoy and that I always want to get joy out of. So I don't really save my dresses or my, like, unless I buy something saying this is for this particular date, I don't buy clothes to save for later. So I'm always going to use my dresses. And this one is no different because this one is the Siciliano dress. And I think out of all the dresses that came in, this is like the most like wear it on the everyday. I will probably wear this so much because it's so cute and so comfortable. And I love that it's not a super short style. Like as you can see, like on me, it's like right above my knee. So I think it's super comfy. It's super cute. Yeah. So I'm wearing my Sicilian Siciliano dress, uh, my platform Converse. Uh, and the accessories are from Swarovski. It's like a collection that has like the like the moon and it's a little bit blue. And on my uh, arm, I'm wearing my bracelet that my dad gave to me from Tory Burch. So yeah, today I think the outfit's kind of simple. And today I'm planning on stopping uh, in, stopping at Stop and Shop or like one of the markets around here cause I want to buy um, the aloe like plant, like just like the leaf of it, like one leaf because I want to do a hydrating mask with my, uh, with the aloe plant because I've been like, I haven't been talking about this that much on my videos just because I want uh, to take a little bit of time to actually like wait until I see any results. But I've been taking Viviscal for the past, I think two months almost. I think it's gonna close out the second month. 
but I like I don't know if it's me or like or like if I'm just overly paying attention but I've noticed like baby hairs showing up a lot more like here on the sides where I usually don't see that much oh somebody's coming in somebody came in I got too cold what well, happened okay so um today I'm planning on stopping by the supermarket buying the aloe like the aloe leaf because I want to do like a hydrating boost on my hair because I love hydrating my hair with uh, aloe. Uh, I think the last clip I was talking about like the Viviscal. Uh, I started taking Viviscal and I don't know if it's just like my like me going crazy. But I think my hair is kind of growing like a little bit more. Like here, this this didn't exist before. These baby hairs. Like over here also like I feel like there was a lot less here now there's a bunch of baby hairs kind of growing i don't know if you can see it because i'm trying to show you but look over here there's like a lot of like new hair just growing and my nails have been stronger like i don't like i cut them because like last night i actually broke one of them that's why i decided to take off all the polish and also um cut them today because um they were they're growing a lot and very fast so Viviscal must be working on something, okay? But uh, I've been taking for almost two months. I only wanted to talk about it after, like, I was certain that um, I actually liked it. Uh, because I don't want to, like, just say, hey, I'm taking this. And what if I don't like it? What if it doesn't adapt? What if I decide not to talk about it any longer? Because, I, like, for any reason, I don't want to talk about something before I actually know if it... If I don't know if I would recommend it. Nobody's paying me to talk about this. I brought it with my own money. But, um, like, I wanted to first see a bit of progress and see if I actually would adapt to it. Uh, then uh, not. My skin, it didn't have any effect on my skin. Like, as you can see, my skin's still, like, natural self. I'm still doing my skincare routine just the same as I was doing before. Uh, I did notice my nails growing much faster and stronger. And also, um, I don't know if my hair has grown quite a lot. I think, like, I'm, like, my hair's curly right now. But um, I will try to find a photo of, like, right when I started taking it. Just so we can use it as a comparison. I'll leave it here. Uh, so you can kind of see. Because at the time, I was also, like, with my hair super curly. But right now... Um, I'm kind of liking it, especially because I was noticing that my hair was thinning quite a lot, even more. <laughs> I already have naturally fine hair, uh, and I was noticing that it was thinning even more. So now I want to focus on getting it more shiny because I noticed that the shine is kind of a little bit gone. And it's been very frizzy, so I want to work on that too. So I did go to the supermarket. I got two of these aloe aloe leaves or aloe plants aloe leaves because the plants the whole thing and i'm just gonna cut them blend them in the blender and like just use the gel because that's the part that i like i bought two because uh, like they can be stored up to two weeks in the fridge so i'm gonna make a little bit more so i can also use it and that sometimes i like to apply a little bit especially in this area over here on my face uh but i would say if you want to try just be careful with applying it on your face because some people are a little bit more like sensitive to this uh i don't have any sensitivity to it it doesn't bother me it doesn't itch but i would say be careful okay i just finished cutting everything up uh here's like the cover and i'm just going to blend it now Sorry for the noise. You're probably not gonna hear it because we're gonna put music over, so be happy about that because I have to hear this. It has created a lot of bubbles. <laughs> I'm gonna let some of the bubbles go away. I'm gonna have dinner now. And I'll show you, I'm just going to like mix this with, um, with a like hydrating mask. I'm going to probably wear, use the Amica that I, Amico one that I have, 
I'm just probably gonna mix like two tablespoons of that with a bit of this to my heart's content because I really usually don't measure but I just took a shower and washed my hair I just shampooed it because I'm going to do the hair mask and I'm gonna leave it on for like 30 minutes and the um, heating cap is right there because this thing here so the one that I'm using is the Amica so food nourish mess <laughs> If I'm like washing my hair in the every day, like normally, I usually don't put this much. So now this, I got at a Brazilian store and it just for hydration and strength and shine. I'm just gonna like do a few drops because this is okay. Okay, I think that's enough. <laughs> and now, I strained it and so now it's, it doesn't have like those little like it's a little bit more liquidy and um, I'm kind of just gonna put it to my heart's content if I can open this okay I can. so it just has now I don't really measure this part I'm just gonna put quite a bit here and then just mix it all together This is gonna take a while so i'm not gonna show you me mixing but i'm just gonna mix it into i think i'm finally done mixing this so see like the texture this is not my like this is not me giving like any hair advice because i'm not a professional this is just like things that i learned over the years with my family like i've been like using aloe like this in my hair probably since i started getting interested in like taking care of myself so since i was very little and so i'm just gonna apply this i'm not gonna show you me applying this because this is just like, I just towel dried and I put nothing else in my hair, just, oh, this like, these little things are from the aloe that I like, I kind of like applied a little bit, like straight from it, just like pure aloe before, and left it like for 15 minutes before I actually like went to wash my hair. But now I'm just gonna apply this and uh, do the heating cap and then just wash it again with everything, okay? Talk to you guys later, bye. Good morning. Today is Tuesday and I'm here at work. I did not show you the results of last night. Uh, like right now my hair is looking like this. Like I think it feels much more softer. And like the, also like the flyaways on top here are much, much better. I'm looking in the mirror right now. So yeah, I definitely like it. My hair doesn't hold curls that well. <laughs> so especially when it's like this, it does not hold a curl. But I didn't even try to curl my hair. I just put it up in a bun. And now it's like this. And this is like, it feels so soft right now. So next week I'll probably do it again. Red Bull right now is my best friend. I did fall asleep, but I kind of fell asleep a little bit late last night, and I'm feeling the after effects of that. And also, like, uh, I just, I think I got too much, like, going on in my head right now that, um, not fun. Not fun. <laughs> Let me show you my outfit. Today's outfit, I, like, since I got this skirt, <laughs> I think you might have noticed that I've been wearing it quite a lot and I love the cut of it, especially because it has a little bit of movement and it's perfect. And so I'm wearing the skirt from the Villagia set. I still have, I think, two yeah, right there, okay? It's easier for me to share like that than try to point it through here. The top, you might have seen this top when I was, if you've been watching the, the, the vlogs, of course. You might have seen this top when I wore my lilac set with a blazer, but I was like, okay, today I wanna be more like casual Barbie, not so much pink. So I decided to wear it with this. <laughs> I love this, I love this top. I think it's super cute and super comfortable. It's from Intimissimi, love it. And then the jacket is from Perfect Way that I don't have currently available, but I think like any jean jacket with a, with like a style like this, I think like if you if you want to like take this like outfit as an inspo, 
a like a white skirt a lightweight top and a jean jacket is always like going to be perfect and because i wanted to because i'm wearing the jean jacket and it's not showing like the my waist i still wanted to mark it and i decided to mark it with my uh leather belt that it's i think super cute and adds just like a little touch of something to it like that is a little extra because i like it <laughs> and then on the shoes because i love my combat boots even when it's summer so I will take any opportunity to wear it. So I decided to wear my uh, Michael Kors, like, like the light colored combat boots. And for accessories, I decided to keep it nice and simple with my uh, Vivian Westwood uh, pearl choker, Nodri earrings that also have the choker on it. And because I'm obsessed with this, because my dad gave it to me. So my Tory Burch bracelet. And that's today's outfit. Now I've been uh, uploading videos uh, to, so it like, videos to uh for it to be edited by caleb by caleb and um then uh i was filming content for um instagram so if you want to see like i usually don't film content for instagram for my personal one but i always film for the store so if you want to hear my voice <laughs> check out our instagram too because the link will be in the bio in the description <laughs> The link is in the description and you can also see like because i always post like details like details about the the outfits like i put them in the mannequin i show you like the photos i post the reels i really don't do that much on my personal one just because like you know it's a lot hello guys today is thursday i did not film yesterday cuz so uh <laughs> With the construction here, there's so much dust. And even though I'm cleaning, even though I'm like sweeping, sweeping even the outside, like the like steps for to my store, uh, it's still a lot of dust, and it's really affecting my like my health. So, uh, yesterday I was dead, and you can kind of still see because like. I'm like, especially here, I'm still like a little bit stuffy. At least it didn't get really bad. Like it did, it didn't trigger my sinus infection. It just actually triggered like everything else. Today, the outfit is, <laughs> I don't even know what the inspiration is. I took things that I liked and I put it all together in a silhouette that I knew I loved it. Okay, so this is my um, Aritzia twirl skirt. I love this, this is perfect. I have three, so. I think that if you have three of the same item and you still wear it a lot, you know, that means you love it. <laughs> There's no other way. There's no other explanation. There's no other way. So underneath the vest, I'm wearing one of my Intimacy Me camis. And on top, I am wearing my... Okay, sorry. <laughs> so I'm wearing this uh, vest top. Uh, I like that this one is not like super low cut. This one I actually have available in the store. So I'll leave the link to my store down below if you wanna shop over there. Really helps me out. This is like a solo person job. So it really helps me out. So uh, this, like, I love the material of this because it's a little bit stretchy. So it's still like very comfortable, but I love the cut because it's still like very flattering. So it's not like a men's style of, you know, vest. Uh, and underneath it, because I'm all about the details, I paired it. I put underneath it this like, uh, like uh, belt that I got from Etsy that it has like these two like hoops over here that I just wanted to, like as a little detail because it shows a little bit of the gold down here and also here. That's why. And then for accessories, I'm wearing just like this gold chain underneath it that I don't really remember where I got it from. But the uh, my gates to the key of uh, the gates to the key key to the gates of Hades. Okay, <laughs> oh, inspired necklace, uh, Nadri hoops that I also have available in my store down below, and also Nadri no Zenzi Zenzi hoops that I also have available here in my store. I can't talk today. And the smaller ones are from Swarovski. And then my uh, Tory Burch bracelet. And for shoes, I am wearing my low top Converse. And I am super comfortable. Now that's today's outfit. Now today has not been crazy busy. I was just like updating some stuff, putting some stuff on the website. Uh, also like doing a lot with the, we were doing like deciding a bunch of things for uh, our bridesmaid trip. Cause 
uh, Mackenzie's brides, uh, bridesmaid trip is coming up. So her bachelorette trip. Uh, bridesmaid's trip. That's wrong. Like, I can't talk today. Okay, so the trip that we're taking is going to be just to a city not too far away from here. And we're just going to spend a night there. Like, do whatever those girls want to do. Sorry. <laughs> I ended up, like, stopping because there was somebody at the door. And I had to like pull in the mannequin because it's almost closing time. So, um, we were just deciding where we're staying, what we're doing. It's going to be in the end of this month. Uh, so <laughs> you're probably going to see a little bit of the vlog of over there. So stay tuned for that because that will be coming in the future. Uh, but yeah, so wedding is coming up super, super soon. And I'm so excited, so happy for Mackenzie and Rafa. They're fantastic, and oh my god. And right now, I'm just literally putting you guys on my vacuum <laughs> because it's like while I'm taking off the cord, um, it's easier than actually holding. So.